Hey NCC, I'm so excited to be with you all today as we continue in our foundation series. We've covered a lot of really good stuff so far and we're continuing today with the theme of Christ. One of the most beautiful aspects of Christ that we're gonna focus on today is how he's described as a man of sorrows in the scriptures. And while this doesn't sound like the cheeriest or the most positive thing, I've actually found that one of the reasons I love Jesus so much is because he is no stranger to sorrow and to grief. Isaiah 53, 2-5 describes Christ as a man of sorrows. Let's read it together. It says, He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with deepest grief. We turned our backs on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not care. Yet it was our weaknesses that he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion. He was crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. What a beautiful and a powerful passage. Isaiah wrote this prophetic message about Jesus the Messiah many, many years ago, yet its truth and its beauty still resonate so deeply today. Christ is described as a man of sorrows, one who's familiar with grief, with suffering and pain on the deepest and the most intense level imaginable. Perhaps you're there too, feeling the sting of deep grief and pain in your own life. I know I've been far too familiar with grief in this season, much more than I would like. I found great comfort in this passage, knowing that Christ grieves with me, he carries my sorrows, and he never leaves me alone. Wherever you're at today, I pray that your heart would find comfort in Christ, knowing that he has surely borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. We don't worship a far off, emotionless God, but we worship the one who is a man of sorrows himself. We worship the one who loves us so much that he made a way for our healing from grief and pain and death through his resurrection. I pray that today we rest in that truth.